All right, you guys, before we start a podcast, we need to take a second and talk about our new sponsors, Plus. We're super excited to have these guys on our team. We fucking love their products. Um, They have incredible products incredibly tasting gummies. I mean, these are some of the best tasting edibles I've ever had. I like that when I eat them, you can't, you know how sometimes it tastes like people just blended like weed leaves into an edible? Yeah. It doesn't have that taste. These taste exactly like candies. They're giving me vitamin gummy vibes where you like want more, but you have to remember they're edibles. Yeah, they're so good. They're so good. And they have different kinds for whatever vibe you're trying to to catch. For Today, sure. Today we're going to the spa. We're eating the unwind kind. Mm-hmm. It's blackberry and lemon. It's got THC and CBD, which I love that combo. Um, yeah, and then they have, okay, what do you think about the sleep gummies? The sleep ones are so good. I didn't, I was like a little skeptical. You were like, take it, trust me. And I have trouble falling asleep. And when I took one, I was out and like, it's not that I have trouble falling asleep. I have trouble staying asleep. So I took one and I was out quickly, which is fine and normal. But I was out all night. Like when I woke up the next day, I felt like I hadn't even moved spots in my bed. Right. And it's not like you wake up like with a weird hangover. No, nope. you feel so good. You feel energized. It and was the first time in a week that I had felt energized. Yeah, I love them. And they have CBN and CBD. So that com- combination with the THC um, is fast acting. Yeah, they have six different flavors. They have three three unique T, uh, THC CBD ratios plus gummy ranges from th- uh, 3.5 to 5 milligram THC. So they taste great. They're long lasting. They're made with all natural colors and flavors. They have custom terpene blends and in- that enhance the effect of each product. They're fucking incredible. If you guys want to check them out, make sure you go to plusproducts.com. And uh, we have a promo code, right? Yep, it's TB30. On, so if you spend a minimum of $50, you get $30 off. Hell yeah. That's a great deal. It's a great deal and it's a this bitch exclusive. So mm-hmm. TB30 on plusproducts.com. Get high, think of us and I hope you guys enjoy this week's episode. All right, let's get into the podcast. Here it is, guys. Welcome to This Bitch with Sarah Wineshank and Kim Congdon. <laughs> What's What's up? up? (laughs) Welcome to another episode of This Bitch. I'm Kim Congdon. And I'm Sarah Weinchang. Um, We're excited. We fucking, I got it. I'm not going to lie to you. We love doing this podcast. We we have a passion for it. We think it's going to do great. We want to get the fuck out of here because we've got a spa (laughs) day ahead of us. Honey. We have a spa day. Normally, it takes a lot to start the pot. Yes. There's a lot of back and forth. There's a joint. There might even be a blunt. Even, there's, even there's just scheduling the pod. Headache. We're both too bu- busy people. People don't realize. I know. <laughs> people see me on Twitch. They think I'm just relaxing all day. When I'm on Twitch, I'm clocked in, baby. <laughs> I'm clocked in making money. I don't, I don't play games. I don't. There is nothing. There is nothing I d- do that is not for work. She stay working. When I do jujitsu, it's so I can be fit, so I can be on camera. Whenever I'm watching Survivor, it's because I want to be on Survivor. When I'm playing video games, I'm okay, making money on okay. Twitch. I'm so working, wait a minute. honey. Nine to five. A oh. single mom, the work seal <laughs> job, the love for kids, and never stop. Okay, before you go so hard in Reba that I lose track, <laughs> can we talk about how you will tweet? the host of survivor before you will retweet our your very own podcast <laughs> i see she's tweeting jeff Probst. is that his name i'm like okay calm down retweet that retweet the episode that just came can out i tell today, you the honey. problem <sighs> jeff's not noticing you and it's <laughs> a huge problem for for everyone in society because now everyone's a victim no that's not it but thank you so much <laughs> That's I don't know, it. dude. You're going to have to. Just... That's not the problem. The problem is okay. when it comes to the podcast clips and stuff, I have this fucking serious issue and anger with how unuser friendly social media is. Bitch, all you have to do is click accept. <laughs> 
all you sometimes have to I do- don't see that. I for real. Sometimes I don't see it, and then you text me. I'm like, oh shit, she not did. me having honey, to text her to do her own job, honey. Meanwhile, she's sh- out tweeting Jeff Probst <laughs> from Survivor. I can't get her to call me back. She's tweeting the host of Survivor, trying to make alliances and shit. <laughs> what is happening? I want to get on Survivor. But why? I don't. No, I like, feel like I can win. I, know, I feel you, <laughs> like I can win. I want to be on Survivor so bad. My oh, dream is to live off an island and be starving and have to survive. Like, I can't explain anymore. And the other part of it, I would win. I'd be so mad if you were just like on some fucking remote island. I'm like having to figure out how to do the podcast without you. Fast forward to me on the island crying. I have a headache. (laughs) I I think I have low blood sugar. (laughs) Just complaining. Like this is nothing like I thought it was gonna be. That's probably how it is. It's probably nothing like you think it's gonna be. But I want to do it so bad. When I go back home to Florida, I make my mom take me out on a boat and drop me off at, and we hang out on an island for like five hours, and I'll try and like collect things and see if I could catch fish. I just do it for fun. Not you having a getting stranded fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I'm about I to do. drop you off on a remote island and, and leave you there for two weeks with a camera. Yes. Have your own survivor, bitch. Oh, uh, if they don't cast me, I'm making my own. No. It's, I'm going to call it I survived. It's just, <laughs> just to piss them off. It's just a fucking, there's a GoFundMe. <laughs> for Kim to make I survived. <laughs> <gasps> oh, oh man no. do, you, do you have you ever known someone who makes a gofundme for something and then they don't use the money for that thing i knew a motherfucker i'm not gonna say any names i'll tell you off camera we've had some gofundme laughters throughout the years remember <laughs> the cat oh yeah yeah <laughs> yeah there's a woman she raised more money for her cat than kim and i ever have had in our bank account she Come raised on. more money for a cat than my nephew did for cancer <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Up. And then the cat died. Yeah. And then we're like, what happened to all that money? It was so much. You guys, it was over $25,000. It was. It was so much. It was like. It she was, was just a hot chick, too. She, she was like, was my like, kitty's <laughs> hurt. We find out it's 16 years old. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> This, bitch. this is a real <laughs> true story. That's this why bitch. it's so good. <laughs> we, me and Sarah have been talking about that cat for years. We go, I wonder what happened to that money. <laughs> every, every couple of years, me and Sarah will bring up that damn cat. That cat made bar mitzvah level money. <laughs> like rich kid bar mitzvah cat. That cat was like a fucking <laughs> a college kid in Dogecoin a year ago. Dude, it, that shit was crazy. No, I also knew someone who raised money for a special, never made the special. Oh. What happened to that money? Yeah, can you unraise it, please? Uh, it's like I wanted to watch your shitty special. <laughs> I wanted to watch your shitty special that you were toting around. Anyone, anytime, yeah, that fucking cat. One time, dude. I have you ever made a GoFundMe? No. One time, I made one for six dollars for Oreos. When I was like two, a year in a stand up, and someone gave so it to dark. me. That's so dark. You want to know what I remember the most about you? <laughs> <laughs> My GoFundMe Oreo? Your, wi- your Amazon wish list. You had on. I'm about to make another one Panera Bread gift card. <laughs> <laughs> no, are you trying to get Shut a up. panini? <laughs> I'm embarrassed me <laughs> on, on, on our own podcast. I'm gonna fucking embarrass Wow. Me. I just had to bring it up. You didn't see that one coming, did you? No, the, the I didn't. The Panera Bread gift card. I think about it often. No, I oh did not. Oh, my God. That's my best friend. She a real bad bitch. I just start going into do- <laughs> Doja Cat. I don't know what to tell you. I love Panera. Dude, do you want to fuck him? Buy her a panini from Panera. That's all it takes, honey. <laughs> I'm gonna bring back my Amazon wish list. I, I because there's just so many things that I just don't feel like I should have to buy for myself. <laughs> I like sometimes, any of it? No. I, sometimes so- I see a pair of shoes and I go like, I could, but no. Like someone should get these for. Me. <laughs> I don't. And let me tell you, I'm not spoiled. Like I didn't. I wasn't raised with like money at all. I never had brand name things or nice things. No one has paid for my things throughout life. No one still pays for my things. But even, but like still, 
when I go to buy something, it just deep inside of me, <laughs> it, I go, someone should be buying this. It feels wrong. Well, to it buy also for feels yourself. indulgent when you buy for yourself. Like if somebody else gives you something and it's a gift, it feels less indulgent than if you go and buy it. Yeah, because right? it's not your money. Why, what about it? it and then the and then, bank account. And then That's it's like the what regret. The regret after you get the item. You can have a guilt free item. Nothing like when getting an buy- item and then having no money. And then having the item. And then you start resenting the item. Um, yeah, then you have this weird... <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you have this weird relationship with the item. You're like kind of pissed at it. Yeah, that's how I feel about some pants I have. I was like... Me I sh- too. I shouldn't have bought these. Dude, I look at most of the clothes in my closet and I go, what was I thinking? <laughs> what was happening? And like you never get the value. Like if you resell it, it's never even... It's not even 50% of what it used to be. Yeah, no, the second you drive it off the lot, the sweater price goes down <laughs> honey it goes from eight hundred dollars to a hundred dollars resold at um crossroads where they fucking give you a hundred dollars and also spit at you to get yeah. out <laughs> yeah. it's crazy they're like a hundred and i'm like or they're like eight dollars i'm like but i paid 200 for this and they're like eight dollars and i'm like all right <laughs> well I, I could get starbucks with the <laughs> and then you're like, that is a free starbucks and i don't wear these pants yeah so you got me yeah. So what I'm saying is clothes don't resell. I want to get rid of my whole closet. I've told you that a few times, right? Yeah. Sometimes I look at my closet and I go, who is this bitch? Who is she? Are you? Is your style changing? I'm just like, I have like, I had so many outfits and then the pandemic hit. And now I'm like, the thought of putting on a full outfit, unless I'm going on stage, is pretty exhausting. This bitch is talking like she's not toting around 16 different outfits for a photo shoot 16 times a day. <laughs> I, I mean, I've never seen anyone change into more outfits. <laughs> she invites me over here just for a casual podcast. She's making dinner. I answer. She's in like a French slip robe <laughs> and, a, and a, a beret. It's true. And she's got like French music in the background. I'm like, Who, what kind of, are you auditioning for something? Are you a method actor? What's going on? I love an outfit. Yeah, you love to like, you really, truly love getting dressed up. I do. It's like, so, it's really cute. It's so fun for me. Me. Meanwhile, I'm running around like a fucking lard and extra big sweatpants. I got to change my style because I think that I come off fatter than I am. That's not true. <laughs> what do you mean? Because you're always in like a sweatshirt. I'm always in a huge sweatshirt, huge sweatpants. The pictures, I'm always like, what I see in the mirror does not translate to what I get in a picture. Well, I'm never, on though. But no? never. What I see in, in the, the mirror, mirror I, is a bad bitch. In the mirror, I'm like, <laughs> and when I look at myself in a mirror, I go, holy shit. I go, any, the way that I, this complex I got, the way any man would be, blessed to touch this buttery body <laughs> I was like, my skin it's smooth i was like my curves in my mirror the light hits too oh my god then i get a picture on stage it literally looks like a bigfoot sighting the pictures no. <laughs> yes that i get from comedy i'm like what this is not the same woman i just saw no it's always the worst version of you it's oh, and not just you, just like of me too. Like it's always like a side profile with the light hitting. Right. The the most my nose looks huge. Yep. It's like I don't even know whose fucking side profile that is. My stance. Someone sent me a picture, and my stance was like, like <laughs> so, wide. And I was wh- like, what was I doing in that moment where I'm like literally look like a linebacker? Like <laughs> I look like I'm in the NFL. I don't get it. I don't get it. I also don't get how I can like. I don't know if I have like a facial dysmorphia or something, but for me, truly, my face changes so much. Like some days I'm like, this is so, my face is so young and fresh. (laughs) Do you have those days? And then other days I'm like, who is this decrepit, dry face, wrinkled cunt? I don't recognize her. And other times I'm like, I am a goddess. No, yeah, 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 no. I, there's days when I am... I really like myself and there's days when I look at myself and I go, who the fuck is this? Who the, what the fuck happened? Right. I was like, <laughs> you start to get, you start sounding like a country song. You look in the mirror, you're like, where did the time go? <laughs> <laughs> you start getting like emotional. You ever, have you done that one yet? Where you look in the mirror and you go, man, where did the years go? <laughs> you start getting like, 
<laughs> start sound like Keith Urban. <laughs> no. Uh, yes, it's fucking dark, dude. You start picturing it, an old dirt road. Yes. And a child with a your first fence. kiss for some reason. <laughs> You're like, man, I just was. I was just a girl having her first kiss. I just. It just does go so fast. It just fucking flies. We've known each other, Sarah, for nine years. Oh, God. We're going to hit a decade of we're, doing this. We're like the old bitches that are like, where do the years go? Yes. Our podcast is us just recalling how long we've <laughs> known each other. <laughs> oh, this is dark. We need the spa deck. I can't wait. <laughs> we need to be rejuvenated, honey. <laughs> I never needed to be rejuvenated more. Oh, disappointing. You want to hear disappointing? Have you ever gotten like a facial and then came out and still felt lo- like you didn't look good? Like I've gotten one facial where I came out and I was like, wow, great. <laughs> and then the next time I got one, I like almost felt like I looked worse. Yeah, there's nothing worse than investing in yourself and making yourself and you end up looking worse. Yeah. <laughs> when you're like, yeah. uh, this is going to be a hot look and then it backfires and it's just not. Like, have you had any experiences like that? Like, I remember like one time. Every I, time I get dressed or do my makeup, I feel like. I like. <sighs> Sometimes, I mean, when my hair was green, that was a choice. That was a that was a moment, but, but we was, let you have it. But that was a choice. Um, it was interesting. It didn't look horrible, but it was just green. You was, know what I mean? It was. <laughs> I it's mean, like, it was it's like green. It's, not, it's like not like pretty. It's hard to ha- look pretty with green hair, and also <laughs> it's hard to match. Like when you're getting dressed. Oh, I'm sure that was a nightmare. It was for you. like I, I hated it. I felt like a completely different person because I like knew everything in my closet that worked with my brown hair. But then when you have green hair, you can't like wear red because oh, you yeah. look like a fucking Christmas. clown, a Christmas clown. And you have so much red. You're I have a red so girl. much red. And then it's like I, I couldn't wear certain colors. I look sick. It was fucked up. But I'm glad I had it, you know. What do you do if your kid comes home with green hair? Nothing. You have to be like, oh, good for you, honey. That's exactly what I did to you. That's exactly <laughs> you how I responded. No I reaction. You, honey. <laughs> give them no reaction. Good, good, good. And then you changed a few months later. Yeah, if I would have been like, don't stop with the green hair, you would have doubled down. You would have yeah. been like, no, I'm going to be Okay. Um, yeah, I, it's, it's all a lot, I feel like. Also, with me, it's like the... T- you know, I wish that we could do podcasts. This is, I, I hate to disappoint you guys, but this is me with a little bit of makeup on. So yeah, it gets worse. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. <clears throat> this is a little secret, gentlemen. A lot of women <clears throat> who look natural throughout the day have a little bit of makeup on. They have a little bit of makeup and a little bit of plastic surgery if they're in Los Angeles, honey. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's Nobody's, be honest. You ever see a woman who looks like she just escaped a basement and she's looking for the first person to help her? That's a real woman. That's what we look like. <laughs> we just are a little like we're ugly like you guys. And we're just and the thing is, that's fucked up. And I'm not saying all men are ugly. I'm just saying like you guys are like scruffy and like. And natural it's accepted. and it's accepted so you don't look ugly but when we become natural we look uglier than we actually are because it's not accepted does that make sense yes and i was having a conversation <clears throat> with my friend who was saying that it's bad that um there are no like older women like looking wise in society like there's no elders that are women in society because right. everyone looks like 20 years younger so yeah. no one knows like what a like a wise old woman. Looks oh, like head down to Florida. At, those bitches aren't drinking water down there. <laughs> at twenty, they look sixty-two. No. I, I look at some of my classmates. I go, "Why you gotta hurt my feelings?" And remind me we're in the same age. <laughs> Why you gotta hurt my feelings? Drink your water so you don't hurt my feelings. Mm, yeah, drink your water. Put down the processed food. Put down the American cheese slices. There is nothing grosser. Okay. First of all, I thought you were going to say then American cheese. Yes, that is what I was going to say. I love American cheese. No, the little plastic it comes in. What the fuck is that? I know. No, it's really like a uh, savage and f- it seems like it should absolutely be illegal. Like the whole thing. Like the cheese itself and also the packaging. Yeah. Can we? <laughs> Doesn't seem like anyone should be eating it. Seems like it's toxic for both humans and the environment. I'd be fine just doing without a craft single for the rest of my life. I mean, I could. I could if I had to. I could give it up. 
if you had to. But every once in a while, I'll get drunk. I'll make something like a grilled cheese with one of those suckers. There's nothing <laughs> like Don't call it a sucker. When you call a craft <laughs> single a sucker, that's where you lose me. There's nothing, like, <laughs> there's nothing like pulling apart one of those babies, watching the cheese <laughs> just stick together. It looks like food cum. Oh, my God. It does. It does. Cheese cum? Cheese cum. Um... That's so gross. It Jeez. is gross. Cheese cum. It is gross. But you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. Who cares? We're on this train, this rapid train to death, honey. <laughs> eat the cheese. Eat the cheese curd or whatever the fuck if you need to. <laughs> whatever it keeps you staying young when you look in the mirror, people. We're getting existential in this week's episode. Hey, I don't know what to tell you. Life's moving fast, so get on. <laughs> is, are you guys listen? If you're listening, can you guys put in the comment that life's moving fast for you too, so that I don't feel alone? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, yeah. I feel like a lot of our times as comedians is making other people not feel alone. Can you can you please tell me that you're scared too? Uh, it's too fast. And you know what's fucked up about it? Not you begging for comments. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, please let me know I'm not alone. I'm like, what's happening? Me, hit, hit that smash button. <laughs> <laughs> hit that smash button and share it with a friend if you feel alone too. <laughs> I'm serious. <gasps> okay. I'm serious because, you know. Nostalgia? No, bitch. I'm, a t- I'm in the middle of a thing. I'm okay. sad. Can you hear okay. me? Yeah, sorry. Let me be more of a... Uh, empathetic? An empathetic, kind individual. Let me tune into my empathy. And okay. Be less sociopathic. <laughs> yeah. Hold Let's on. move on to the segment. <laughs> Honey, the nostalgia can wait. She's going to have a mental breakdown. This is why we're going to the spot, okay? Because we've been working. We've been working, <laughs> honey. <laughs> oh, we've been working. We've been clocked in, sweetheart. Um, I don't remember what I was going to say, but yeah. We were trying to have a real moment, and then I was trying to, you Take know. Take over and be mean to me. You were bullying. I was not you bullying f- you. I was just like, I don't know where she's going with this. Let's see if she wants to get into nostalgia. Why do you want to dip into nostalgia so bad? What's going on? Because I have a good one. But, but, what were you going to say about where You don't give a fuck. Go? You don't well, give a uh, fuck. We sorry. already wasted 45 seconds Bitch. of the short life we have. <laughs> you want to just gaze into the distance and talk about where is the time <laughs> gone? And I'm like, um, I feel weird. <laughs> <laughs> I feel very uncomfortable. I don't know where the time's gone, honey. What is it? <laughs> when it was the first time started? Who time's took time? Time's not real. Who, what does that mean? Time is real because look at the way we age. So time is real. That makes no sense when people say that. If time isn't real, things would <laughs> If time wasn't real, things wouldn't live or die. Time is real. Time is real. But Don't is f- it not First real? of all, scientists. But is it real? Let me tell you, scientists are gaslighters. <laughs> <laughs> Time is real. It's very real. Guess what? We got to go in 25 minutes to a spa. <laughs> you tell me that's not a real thing? No, that's not right. real from here to you're then? Right, 25 you're right, minutes? You're right, you're right, it's you're on a timeline. But so it is real. But who said the first time? Who said today is time? <laughs> today we'll have time. Who? I don't know. Like. The Mayans? How? I have no idea. Why? I can't handle the philosopher in you. (laughs) What is time? How do we identify it? And where do we all go? (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) Okay, like I was saying, if you're listening to this podcast and you feel... Sound off in the comments below if you're listening. You we smash would... that like button. <laughs> smash that like button. Tell All your right. friends about the show. <laughs> Let's get into it. What? Nostalgia? You know, bitch. What do you mean, oh, what? Oh, now I'm acting like I haven't been begging for it. <laughs> yeah, please. You've been on Nostalgia's dick like you've been drinking all night. You want to come home and fuck it. <gasps> well. Remember that. That thing that happened so long ago. Okay. Wait, how about this? How about this? <laughs> okay. Do you ever have a smell that brings you back nostalgia to the past? Let's go. <laughs> it just always, <laughs> we always add one more thing that makes it a little off. A little weird. <laughs> the let's go. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, Go. What's yours? Okay, so mine is a little too, uh, I got a little two-parter. 
First part, candy cigarettes. Do you remember candy cigarettes? When you used to, that was yes. the first that was the first joint we was passing to each other. Uh, yes. Remember your first cipher with a cigarette? Uh, yes. You said I this. have some. You told your friend right now? Yeah. I can go get them. Go get those fucking keep, things keep the, right now. Up. I'll remind everybody. Hold on. Let's let Sarah out of here. Can you? Here. <laughs> go, go get those cigarettes. Okay. So you guys, if you guys don't remember candy cigarettes, they were like, of course you remember candy cigarettes. Who, if you didn't, if you didn't have candy cigarettes, your childhood was too good. I don't know how to explain that, but I mean it. Like, you had good parents if you didn't have candy cigarettes. My parents were like, it's better than real cigarettes. That was like their thing. And I agree with that. But candy cigarettes with these little chalky things. Oh, my. Did you just bring one? No. Oh, you brought me my own? Yeah. <laughs> I was offended. I was like, she said, I have candy cigarettes. She brought one for us to sh- split like a real joint. Wait, can you eat the paper? No. You cannot eat the paper. Bitch, this is not a candy cigarette. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Look. Oh. How is that not a candy cigarette? Why would I lie? <laughs> oh, my God. Why would I lie? That would be a weird lie. Let me tell you. Right now, Sarah, this is a different candy cigarette than what I grew up with. No. Ours didn't smoke. This is. Mine, mine already smoked. What? <laughs> Honey, I'm puffing and huffing all day on this thing. Mine yeah. didn't smoke. This is a whole different candy cigarette experience than I've ever had. Is this a gum? Yeah. Oh, my God. I've yeah. never seen it. You haven't? You haven't? These are like the original candy cigarettes. That are gum. Wow. And you could actually smoke them. That is sick. <laughs> okay. Our candy cigarettes in Florida were just like this white chalky thing. And it oh, had like yeah, red yeah, dye yeah, at the yeah. end. And you would just bite it. You would just pretend to smoke it. And they would eventually like dissolve down your mouth. And it would look like some trucker came and molested you at the no, bus stop. No. Yes. No. Yes. Not a candy cigarette looking like You know what was molestation. fucked up? They oh. sold the candy cigarettes. Why am I eating the gum on the pod? Okay. okay. They sold... H-A-S-M-R. Oh, we're going to lose followers. <laughs> we're going to gain and lose somehow. Okay, I'm going to spit this out. Mm, the gum is good. You can hear it, though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to spit that out. Okay. Um, but the thing that's crazy is they sold the candy cigarettes on the ice cream trucks. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. You could just go up to the ice cream truck and go, hey, I'll, I'll, t- I'll take the uh, SpongeBob, a strawberry shortcake, and a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> and the dude would just give it to you. Yeah. And then and then mm-hmm. we get mad when everyone smokes cigarettes. Yeah. But it just was like pumped through us. Like, what if you could get like a pack of joints from the ice cream truck? You probably could get candy joints now. I bet they sell those. We would love that. We would love a candy joint. A candy Someone joint. should make candy joints. Us. She's giving me more work to do. <laughs> She's tag like, me. Hey, yeah. Can you tag me as a collaborator? Can you, can you do it and then tag me as a collaborator? <laughs> and then I will not accept. Um, She's so pissed. <laughs> um, what would you get from the ice cream truck when you were younger? I like there's like, you know, there's that strawberry shortcake thing. Yeah, of course. I like that, but like in chocolate. Yes, that was my go-to, too. That was one of my go-tos. I also like a bomb pop. Like like the firework. firecracker. Like the firework one. It was like red, white, and blue. Yeah, I like that. But I also like no. that in, they also have it in chocolate and banana. Oh, okay. I'm back. I'm back on board. And I like a chocolate taco. Okay, we, we're very much alike in our likes in ice cream. I like a Choco Taco, too. I love a drumstick. You get that little chocolate piece at the bottom okay. of the drumstick. There's a company that makes a bag of just the ends oh. of the cones. Of the cones. <laughs> I just saw it. I just saw it on Instagram. It's a bag of the ends of the cones. So it's just like that little... The best part. Yeah, I know. But like, do That's, you think you would appreciate it less? I if- was just thinking that. It's not going to be as good. The The journey, it's like life. <laughs> She's oh, <back>. no. <laughs> She's back. Where does the time go? <laughs> it's like life. The real, the whole time you're eating this ice cream, you're going, I got to get to the chocolate. I got to get to the chocolate. I can't wait to get to the chocolate. Then you get to the chocolate, you eat it. It's good, but it went so fast. And then you realize, wow. 
the true joy the whole time was getting to the chocolate. Yeah. And so, we're going to hit this fucking spa dog. Dude, we're going to hit the spa so hard. Yeah. Am I wrong? No, you're right. You're you're getting a little bit woo woo. Woo woo. But, <laughs> but I do appreciate the analogy. You guys hit it's, that smash button if you agree. <laughs> hit that smash button if you it's feel like truly so life is like an ice cream cone. Um <laughs> Jesus Christ. She's like, come on, get closer. <laughs> Wait, oh, what's your nostalgia? Bitch, my candy cigarette, oh, cigarette. ice cream truck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to know what mine is? Yeah. Light bright. <gasps> Love a light bright. You know, I have a mini light bright right now on my oh, desk. You do? It's like this big. It's like this big and it comes with many little light bright things. I love a light bright too. A light bright's good. A light bright was fun. How would you even explain it? Everyone knows what a light bright is, right? My only prop a light bright is like a, a little light box that has a screen with holes in it that you put a black piece of paper on and then you poke these little plastic things through the holes and the light makes the the plastic things light up and you can make pictures on it. And if you haven't heard of a light bright I mean, wake the fuck up. <laughs> what yeah. kind of world are you living in? I don't yeah. know what else to say. Yeah. Um, the problem with a light bright for me. Right. Is I was scared of the dark. So I always had to have like my mom would get annoyed because I'd, I'd, be, I'd be like, you have to be like right next to me. And she'd be like, oh, I have to do something that's not for myself. <laughs> <laughs> OK. And um, and that was too much. I would always have to have like supervision to play that because I was scared to just sit in the dark like a weirdo. Like what kind of weird kid just sits in the pitch black and light brights? You. Uh, me. Were no. you not scared of the dark? No, I was scared of everything. I was fucking scared of the dark. I would have nightmares. I would like wake my mom up and tell her that like I had this like border around my room of like these children that were um like playing it was weird it was like like a little cartoon of like these mm -hmm. kids right and i like had a dream i know exactly what that is it's i feel like i've seen that in like school or something that's so weird like one's the kicking a ball and one's like jumping yes. rope and then one's yes. doing this yeah i had a dream a nightmare that the that came alive and that they were gonna kill me or something maybe it was real <laughs> And I told my mom and I couldn't sleep. Like I used to have like nightmares all the time. So I get it. I was chaotic. I'd be like waking up my parents asking if I could sleep on the floor of their room. The way that I used to have nightmares about my dad, you would think that he physically abused me. Really? Which he did not. Really? Yeah. No, no, no. But the dreams were fucked When up. I was like five or six years old, I have this reoccurring dream that me and my dad would go get a burger at this burger stand in Puerto Rico where we lived, like this local burger stand. OK. And then he'd get his burger and it came with a toothpick in it and he'd take it out and he'd start stabbing me with it. That is sick. Isn't that so fucked up? <laughs> that is And I was like sick. so little and it was like the most violent dream. And my dad was so upset because I would have it like I've had it like three or four times and it fucked me up each time. And I would be scared of him that day. No. And it would fuck him up, too. No. And he'd be like, where did she? I remember him saying, like, where did she see that? She must have seen it somewhere, like on TV or something. Like he was upset. Like, where did I even get the idea? That's so weird. Yeah. Isn't that wild? What is that? I don't know. But I remember that dream. I remember the shack, what it looked like. I remember in the dream being five or six years old. Isn't that weird? That's so weird. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Can't wait to hit that spa. <laughs> 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 do you know who you want to smoke a joint with um <clears throat> well i'm just going on theme today you go first i'm going share share's a good one I, I just decided right now you, you was it was a last minute decision it was a last minute decision and i feel like she has a lot of wisdom knowledge she's talented she's supposedly really funny i've heard that she's one of the funniest people ever one of my dearest, closest friends, because I'm only friends with huge stars, Val Kilmer, personally told me, I am the funniest girl in the world besides Cher. Cher. Yeah, we love we love Cher. We love Cher. Um, She's the only girl funnier than me. <laughs> and, and Sarah on this podcast most of the time. <laughs> Cher, hit us up if you want to phone into this bitch. Phone in. Cher, come join us. <laughs> hey, Cher. Share. Hey, Cher, we'll send a car for you. We'll absolutely send a car. Share, what do you want? 
Do you want to see? <laughs> are you are you a little gay now? <laughs> we'll do a. Would you do a sexual favor to get Cher on here? Would you fuck Cher to get Cher? That's yeah, my if question. We could get Cher. Yeah, and she was yeah. like, "But you have to eat my box." Yeah, like I, it's a weird deal where we both have to go <laughs> in there for like ten minutes. You would do it. <laughs> yeah baby <laughs> then I we'd did. have to sit on the podcast and pretend we didn't just eat out share like we can't mention it <laughs> no i'd have to record the whole almost the whole hour and then right at the end i'd be like we ate her out <laughs> just for and then she'd be like no i said don't do it we, don't tell anyone and i said i can't getting... share i'm doing it for the numbers <laughs> smash that like button if you like the we ate share out <laughs> share dude i feel like eating share out would be we can't we (laughs) we're just eating out different bitches every week every week every week we can't be doing that no we can't we can't even pretend to eat out share (laughs) it's so disrespectful i don't know would she would she laugh at this i don't know no we don't know what she wouldn't she's funny (laughs) (laughs) okay well so i'm smoking a joint with share that's a great choice I'm picking Cher's brain. We're talking. How do you reinvent yourself time and time again? What's going on? How does she get into a creative flow? Also online, I don't know if you've ever seen it. There's a list of Cher's, what Cher likes and what Cher dislikes. Okay. Oh, and what does she like and dislike? (laughs) Let me find the list. Oh, God. I need to know about what Cher likes and dislikes. Um, I just typed in chair likes and dislikes <laughs> <laughs> well i like a, a stool <laughs> and uh a recliner okay Cher's favorite things what does she like chocolate cake same aretha franklin records great dancing who doesn't warm baths cool everyone does funny jokes everyone also likes that false eyelashes pretty popular with women why are you hating on Cher? Sorry, likes? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Do you want me to keep going or are we done here? Can you give me some of her dislikes? Well, yeah, but we'll get there. I know, but the list is so long. What do you mean? Well, she this loves is like, a midriff this is like a This is like a Pet fucking peeve. Epstein okay. b- black book list. She said, we'll get there. I said, yeah, Pet in peeves. an hour. We got Pet. a spot to hit, baby. Bitch, listen, <laughs> listen. Cher's pet peeves being poor. No. <laughs> yes. I. That's one of mine, too, though. <laughs> I get that one. Divorce. Same. Weak men. Oof. <laughs> we Oof. love her. Now, now I got to tell you, now she's hitting. <laughs> Sex without love. Ooh. People who try to push her around. Sex without love is deep. Mm-hmm. To enjoy that. Oh, she dislikes it. Yeah. Okay. I was like, that is deep. Untidy rooms. Ooh. Whining complainers. Mm-hmm. Snobs. Mm-hmm. Nasty smells. Yeah. Well, that's an everyone thing. The Hollywood rumor factory. <laughs> okay, share <laughs> pimples. Hey, relatable. Artificial flowers. Okay. Bland food. Okay, whatever. She doesn't I like knee oh, lengths. Sh- sh- All work and no play. Should I just unplug myself? Okay. Well, you get the. I uh, you get. The I get gist. it. Share likes things that people like and dislikes people things. She likes. I just. She's like. To I show like. Show you that I, she's smoking like, a joint with her would be fun. Share's like. I like when I'm healthy and I don't like when I'm sick. <laughs> it's like okay, we get the list. Got it. I like sunrises and sunsets. <laughs> I like looking up at the clouds in the sky. The sand between my toes. (laughs) But I hate it in my bikini. It's like, yes, we all feel that way. (gasps) No one has ever been like, oh, I love when the sand gets in my cooter. Can you never say cooter? (laughs) I think when you say sand in my cooter. She got the sand in her cooter. Sand. It's like a country <laughs> song. She got the sand in her cooter. Sand in her cooter. She better wash it out or I'm going to call her a no. scooter. <laughs> she ain't getting sand. in my car with the sand on her cooter. Thought she, she was cuter till she came out with the sand, sand on her cooter. <laughs> um, I love that one. The sand on her cooter. She's Who a straight I? shooter. <laughs> With the sand on her cooter. Sand on her cooter. <laughs> this is... We're she gonna ain't getting my album. truck, bitch. Better ride a scooter with the sand <laughs> on your cooter. <laughs> it was just a girl one day. She went to the beach. 
Got a little ruffled up in the waves. <laughs> I gotta go. She stood up. She said, damn, it feels like something's itchy down there. I said, check it. She said, there's sand down there. She got sand in a cooter. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. It only makes her cuter. She got sand oh, he likes in it. Okay, he likes <laughs> yeah. it. I like that twist. Yeah. <laughs> I like that twist of her being annoyed by the sand in her cu- cooter, but it makes her cuter than him. <laughs> yeah. That's fire, Sarah. <gasps> We're writing. Guys, if you think we should write sand in her cooter, Hit that smash button. <laughs> yeah, if you just want to be at a barbecue, listen to Sand on a cooter. <laughs> smash that like. <laughs> smash that like. Okay. I've been saying hit that smash button. Whatever. They know what we mean. We need honey. a smash drop. <laughs> hit that smash button. Dude, um, she keeps g- giving me wor- more work to do. She's like, yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll introduce that smash button. Maybe we can get on that. Um, Sarah's well, not so today, upset. but like after the spa, maybe we could just make some jingles and we can get these buttons going. Can you tag me on that? <laughs> Can you just CC me on that? Um. <laughs> oh, okay. man. If, you, if, if this podcast computer. ends, you guys know why. Makes Go computer. back to this episode. <laughs> That's kind That's, of a sick hook. I know. Sand it on, on a cooter. cooter. It, it only, only makes her cuter. cuter. <laughs> what? Okay, we got to make sand on our cooter. And then we could do the music video, and it's like us in the beach tumbling as friends. <laughs> I don't like it. Come on. I love it. <laughs> You That's how Hollywood that. is. That's how people get movies picked up. They're like, what if a mouse pad came to life? And they're like, I love it. I've been working on this fucking crazy mind twister for six months. They're like, we need something new. I'm like, oh, okay, my bad. I didn't, I didn't make Sharknado, so I guess I'll go fuck myself. They're like, uh, we're looking for Fast and the Furious 9. Yeah. <laughs> what? You know, men like when cars go vroom, vroom. Okay. <gasps> cool. Oh, Who no. would I smoke a joint with? I would, I would smoke a joint with the creator of it all. Who? I don't know. That's what I want answered. God? Maybe. Whoever made this. I want to smoke a joint Do with that guy and go. one guy? <laughs> you think there's just one guy? I don't like there? imagining him as a guy, but like some dude like named Fred. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like up there. With a long beard. Mm-hmm. I'm like a cane. Whatever it staff. was, I want to smoke a joint with it, even if it's a little tiny atom. I want to. Why'd you do that? <laughs> why'd you make all of this? Why? <laughs> That's so weird. But morning breath, why'd you add that? When you couldn't have. Why'd you add little things? Pimples. The morning breath stuff is gross because it's like, why? That's a good fucking question. Why? Well, you should definitely ask God that because <laughs> what the fuck? Why does it smell like shit when I wake up in the morning? <laughs> could why just, does my mouth smell bad? Also, could you have made a thing like more efficient than like you have to put things in your mouth and then push them out of your ass every day? <laughs> it makes no sense. It's such a weird task to put on a human. Just let us be like it, like it should be like oxygen feeds you and thirsts you. And or we like all like this sun. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, the shitting thing. Yeah, it would be I'm, good to I'm get off answers about it. That. I want answers about a lot of things, you know, the barfing thing, the barfing thing. And like, why is why is technology like why is <laughs> why is everything so hard? <laughs> I have a question. If you could have like a chip inserted in your body that would make pussy. It so- Oh, sorry. <laughs> what? Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Did you have a Tourette's moment? <laughs> so you're going to ask where. Pussy. Go ahead. Um. Okay, like a chip in your body that mm-hmm. would make it so that your body, you don't poop anymore. Your body just processes your food. Yeah, that'd be would great. Would you do that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't have like a huge issue with pooping. I kind of just wake up, do my thing, and then I go about my day. And maybe I'll hit another one in the afternoon. Yeah, and you, sometimes you hit two in one. Yeah, you don't you don't do two a day? No. You're a one a day pooper? It depends on the day. Wow. I fluctuate with my pooping. And you know what I hate more than anything? Hmm. Talking about pooping. Yeah, I know it's really gross. It's I it's don't like want- my least favorite thing to talk about. And uh, you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm not a poop comic. I'm not a fart comic. Right. I don't want to talk about that. No. I'll talk about cum. All day she'll talk about cum. I'll talk about jizz. Cum's her passion, guys. Yeah, guys. <laughs> it's actually, she only talks about cum. If I could just stop talking about cum, uh, everyone would be a lot happier. <laughs> oh, fuck. You want to get into our advice segment? Oh, yeah. I didn't even look one up today. We're going to go raw with the advice. Let me tell you what, honey. Help. 
Is that what you're asking oh, for? Oh, we didn't do a Help. we didn't do a music for the smoke a joint segment. Okay. Okay. Smoke a joint. <laughs> but Boy. but before this, like before you heard the last part of smoking. <laughs> smoking. <laughs> puff puff pass. Puff puff pass. Backwards in time. Time doesn't exist. We're definitely doing this before. Yep. Not us gaslighting the fans <laughs> and thinking we're doing the podcast right. <laughs> okay, I got a good one. Help. This is from... <laughs> this is my... <laughs> help. <laughs> I thought you really needed help. No, okay, no okay. this is the jingle before the Reddit. Okay. Help. I need answers. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, this is from Try Not to Screw It Up six days ago. I can hear my upstairs neighbors making sex noises, and I'm not sure what to do about the fact that she's loud as the TV. It's only 9 p.m. on a Friday. This neighbor is putting on a show. I've never seen or heard anyone but her up there. This neighbor kind of sucks because she ignores my attempts to be friendly, has odd conversations in the hall, stomps, yells. I caught her throwing my mail away, one mailbox (laughs) for the six plugs. Okay. I mentioned the 9 p.m. on a Friday detail because it's outside of customary quiet hours, so I just can't necessarily ask her to be quiet. I understand sex happens at all hours, and believe me, so does the neighbor. Thanks for the advice for some of those who took me seriously. What's up so with this, this person sounds like a cunt. cunt. <coughs> Thanks for taking me seriously. My neighbor fucks. My neighbor fucks. It's like, first of all, how long can it be lasting? Also, Is she, she didn't add the detail like she's not fucking for hours. No, she says she just hears sex noises. At 9 p.m. on a Friday. It's like, bitch, go out. Go have dinner. Put in some People can fuck at 9 p.m. on a Friday. And guess what? This is my issue. If you don't like it, save money up for a house or shut the fuck up. My whole thing with the person. (laughs) I've had to tell this to an apartment neighbor before. I've had to literally be like, we all live in an apartment together because we can't afford a house. This is what we get. We hear each other. This is why we're not in a house. If we had the privilege of not hearing each other, we would all live in individual houses. This is the reason. You're getting so fucking passionate about it. Am I wrong? No, you're right. I'm actually feeling like I need to be more passionate about um, (laughs) being loud. Apartments. (laughs) Well, yeah. (laughs) Am I wrong about that? Like, as in a, like, as long as you're not being straight up rude. Like one time are- I got drunk and I did didn't realize it was 1 a.m. and I vacuumed and my neighbor broomed me and I understood that. I was like, yeah, it's a little late to be back. As soon as I was like, oh, shit, what time is it? I checked. I was like, oh, I thought it was like 10. Well, but also it was like one. comics, we're on our own fucking schedule, which sucks. Because yeah, sometimes like, I need to come home at 1 and vacuum. Yeah, sometimes you just got to vacuum at 1. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes you got to just... Well, the thing that You're sucked up. is I broke a glass in my bedroom. And so I and I had so I had to vacuum it up. It was in my carpet. No, you actually had no choice. Yeah. But to vacuum. Yeah. And so he broomed moment. me and I was like, God damn it. What's brooming? Doom, doom, doom. That's a that's a verb. Yeah. <laughs> you said it like it's like something yeah. everyone yeah, knows. Yeah, neighbors broom each other. Neighbors be brooming. Neighbors be brooming. Mm, mm, no. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Because that would da- that would damage your ceiling. Yeah. Well, they don't care. They'd rather sleep. How do you know it's a broom? <laughs> oh, you can hear the stick go right up your ass with the anger. No. <laughs> they really give it to you. You feel it in your soul. You go. Did I just get broomed? <laughs> <laughs> are you out of it are you okay I'm that's our episode i'm right? falling out yeah we could end oh, the wait, episode we there. didn't <laughs> even do we we're like we didn't even care about giving this person well, advice th- my st- advice is stop being a cunt um, you're being a bitch you're being a bitch people are allowed to have sex it's n- it wasn't even a late time what? Mm, that's the- like me though you know, yeah, that's you know she, she probably you were probably the person with advice. <laughs> You're like, like, I'm trying to sleep at nine <laughs> because I have to wake up really early at noon tomorrow. <laughs> Sarah wakes up at Sarah goes to sleep at nine. Wake up at noon. I call her by three. She says, I'm so tired. I said, I've been up. <laughs> I've been up. I've been up. I had breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's six. Um, that's our episode. Yeah. Don't be a cunt to that girl. That's our episode. Thank you guys so much for listening. We're about to hit the spa. We're about to hit the spa. 
Uh, you guys, if you enjoyed this smash episode, that like. smash that like, <laughs> smash it up, smash it up hard, dude. Leave a comment. Tell us you're alone in the world, too. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll see you guys next week. Where does the time go? Bye. Um, where can people find you? Oh, shit. You guys can find me on Twitter at Kimberly Congdon, on Instagram at Kim Congdon. Check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Queen Kong one. I just got a PC. I'm streaming every single day. The streams are getting super fun. We're doing giveaways. Make sure you go check it out. I've said that twice. I haven't done a giveaway, but I will be doing a giveaway <laughs> in the next week. I will. I will. I will. I promise. Um, and check out my other podcast, Broad Topics, T-O-P-I-X, with my co-host Alex Scarlato. Um, anywhere you find podcasts and on the Gas Digital Network. Yes, and this podcast comes out every Monday, so you can find us here on iTunes, Spotify, and YouTube. Make sure to follow me at Princess Shank on Instagram and Twitter for show dates, and check out my podcast, Shank, S-H-E-N-K, and that podcast drops on Wednesdays. So we'll see you guys next Monday. Awesome. Bye. Bye.